Well, welcome back. You know, it is a great time of year for kiwi, a superstar fruit for your health. And Kowalski's culinary director, Rachel Perrin, joins us live from her home kitchen to share a simple recipe that's also right down your produce aisle. Hi, how are you this morning? It's good to see you, Melinda. It's good to see you as well. Um, you know what? I, I was in Kowalski's this week getting a bunch of stuff for a big luncheon yesterday. And I have to tell you, so many things are coming into season. The asparagus was beautiful. Um, those gorgeous... Um, Kara Kara oranges are gorgeous, but also, as you're talking about today, kiwi is right out there. Kiwi is a great spring fruit, and I love it. I think it's just one of the most beautiful looking fruits, um, at least on the inside. Some people think this little brown fuzzy thing is kind of ugly on the outside, but on the inside, it holds a lot of great things for your health, and it's a really beautiful sweet tart fruit to add to summer salads and desserts or snacks and things like that. I know, my kids love it, so I'm glad they do because I know it is so healthy for them. Okay, so what are we making today? I'm very uh, excited with meringue and yogurt and fruit and nuts and kiwi, right. of so course. Other, yeah, other than the fact that this is starting with a meringue base, this is also a great recipe for a snack or for a breakfast. And because it's got um, kiwi in it, if you use one whole kiwi per recipe, you get all the vitamin C you need in a day, which is an amazing amount of vitamin wow. C. It's much better, I think, than a cup of juice or a vitamin C tablet. But it also has vitamin K, which is great for age-related diseases, lutein, age-related eye diseases. It has a ton of potassium. As a matter of fact, one cup of kiwi, one cup of banana, equal amounts of potassium. So oh, if you don't wow. like bananas... Yeah, key, the same amount of kiwi has the same amount of potassium, which is obviously good for blood pressure, brain, heart, bones, all kinds of great stuff. So, and I and I heard you mention you wouldn't eat the skin, but this has 19% of your daily fiber without the skin, and three times as much if you dare to eat the skin, which I tried earlier, and it's actually pretty good. So okay, I'll try it. Yeah. I'll try it. So we've got everything here that you dropped off. Thank you so much. So how do we you're get this to put together? So you're going to take one of the meringue shells, which you buy in the bakery department. These are made with egg whites and sugar. They're really um, light, crispy, delicious little base for a simple, fresh spring dessert. They're gluten-free, they're fat-free, they're very low calorie. So we're gonna take one of those and put it on the base of your plate. And then we're gonna put some yogurt on top. Now, often you find these filled with whipped cream or maybe ice cream. I'm using a Greek yogurt today to kind of make this a little bit healthier. And I chose a honey flavored yogurt a honey or a honey vanilla is going to be a really nice complement to the flavor of the kiwi in the dessert. But you just want to put a little scoop in there just to fill out the little hollow in that nest of the meringue. I love the Noosa. We have Noosa vanilla bean here. Okay. Yep. And then I'm going to add in, um, I'm going to put some kiwi on it, but I wanted to add a second fruit too. One for color, but also because kiwi, again, as I said, has that tart sweet flavor. So I wanted to kind of enhance the sweet aspect of that. So I picked raspberries. I also gave you some blueberries and blackberries too. So you just want to pick something that's got a little bit more of that sugar profile. I'm going to add these beautiful little raspberries right to the top. Okay. Just, just scatter them on your plate, add them to the top. And then you're going to add some of this diced kiwi. Now I did take the skin off this one for those of us who don't want to eat the skin, but it's just got that beautiful lime green, gorgeous spring color with the little seeds to give it a little texture. We're just going to put a little bit of that around the plate. Okay. Oh, and these look so good. <laughs> sugared sliced almonds. So all I did, some sliced almonds, I put them in a skillet with a little bit of butter, a little bit of sugar, stirred it around for about five minutes over medium heat until they're a little bit crispy, just to give them a little bit of extra color and texture. And that's going to really, really nicely balance out the, the textures of the yogurt and the, and the kiwi. And then finally, I've got some Minnesota grown honey. This is Kowalski's honey. It's got a nicely like floral flavor, floral and sweet. So it's really going to play against the flavors of that. Uh, oh my goodness, it's kiwi, so and it's good. It's going to pick up the honey flavor in the yogurt. Yeah, look at this here. I'm going to bring it over to uh, to Dave. This is such a great little treat. I love, you know, I I imagine I love all these things, but I've never thought about putting it on a meringue. So what a what a good idea. It's a great idea. Well, another way that you can buy these in the grocery department or in the bakery department, I'm sorry, is as little cookies. So they come these little drops that are about the size of like a really large Hershey's Kiss. And you could put a bunch of them in a parfait glass and do it that way too and just kind of make a different look. But it's they're a great little texture. They've got that crunch mm. and that sweet, so really light, just a great light, fresh dessert. Oh, well, mm -hmm. Rachel, thank you so much. We love this recipe, mm. and also it's so good for us, so that's great. That's delicious. Isn't that fabulous? I can't Light even wait to try it. It's I great. love I love kiwi. Again, have a wonderful day, Rachel. Thanks for joining you us too. again.